Hello, good afternoon. I'm here today to talk about the uh, transition period in Poland, the transformation, which is usually presented from the point of view of economic, social and uh, democratic point of view. I would like to today offer a slightly different perspective uh, and to look at the post-socialist transition in Poland from the, uh, from the point of view of uh, issues related to gender. So in other words, to offer the, uh, the uh, account, the presentation of post-socialist transition uh, through the uh, gendered lenses. In order to do that, in order to present the, um, the post-socialist transition in Poland, I also need to provide you with a, a short background regarding the gender relations in, uh, <coughs> in Poland during the socialist time. So this will be the first part of my presentation and then it will be followed by the discussion of transformations and processes occurring in uh, Poland in the 90s. So if we look at the socialist ideologies, if we look at the, uh, at the um, situation or the presentation of the position of women <coughs> In the socialist theory, if we kind of get back to the to the roots, it becomes quite clear that the early socialist thinkers were very positive and uh, regarding the position of women in the society, and they noticed the discriminatory practices existing in the Western societies. They also noticed the disadvantaged position of women in uh, in society. So, if we look into writings of Marx or Engels, they were very clear. Uh, in the uh, very mm, per negative perception of the situation of women. So, quoting Marx, everyone who knows anything of history also knows that great social revolutions are impossible without the feminine ferment. Social progress may be measured precisely by the social position of the fair sex. So, also Engels were quite clear that the, uh, the women need to be emancipated for, for the whole society to be emancipated. Um, Following, Lenin also considered the, um, the embeddedness of women or the kind of attachment of women to the private sphere and to the domestic issues as something uh, very problematic and uh, the, he was also perceiving this as a, he also stressed the, the need to break uh, through or break away from this uh, attachment of women to the private sphere in order for achieving the full equal socialist society. Of course, critics would point out that uh, um, the Marxists were mostly perceiving uh, emancipation of women through the emancipation of the, uh, uh, of the workers. Uh, in other words, they considered emancipation of workers as, as a primary and most important uh, element of the achieving the socialist uh, and equal society. And therefore, they also perceived the emancipation of women as, a, as resulting from the emancipation of workers. Of course, the, the feminist thinkers uh, were much more critical of, of this uh, um, uh, attachment of women's position to the workers' position. 